Hello friends, in this video I will be showing you practically how we can insert context in the data foundation and how we can resolve the con uh, loops using context. So that is one way means uh, to uh, have the this context uh, detection, testing and all those things. So let me open one of the data foundation which I have created already. So here uh, we have different different tables uh, joined to each other. Uh, so so what we need to do means we need to uh, first detect context means if there is any context then we can insert that context in the data foundation so that context will be uh, defining a join path uh, in the data foundation so suppose if there any uh, there is any loop is getting formed that will uh, not affect the result it will it will uh, the context path will uh, take care of that uh, data results so this is one of the data foundation which I have uh, created. Let, let's uh, detect the context if, if we have uh, the, anything there as a context. So uh, to detect the context, what we need to do, click on this uh, detect context. If you click on this, you'll, it will say uh, these are the different different contexts uh, available. Rental cell, cell and then uh, cell model. So let's take rental model and sell model. I mean, these are the two in the context which we wanted to insert. So once it is uh, detected, we can select this. Uh, if you want to uh, rename as well from here, we can rename it. Otherwise, we can insert it and click on uh, OK. So now whenever they, uh, the tables which are having the, this context uh, tables, it will uh, it will not have form any loops so you will see this uh, this context let me uh, show you see whatever the path like rental rental model and model this is one path and from cell model if you see rental uh, cell to model and cell this is one path though uh, this this table is having uh, interrelated to each other but but it is having a separate context path so that way it it is defining a new path so that way it will resolve the loops or it will not form a uh, loops so this is one way to uh, detect context you see so these are the context if you want to edit means we can edit it means uh, from here means we can change it Uh, one more thing, yeah, means uh, if I want to check the integrity, uh, we can check the integrity. Uh, means this is a testing of the. Uh, so see, means there is no issues. Means if it is a green mark, then means it is uh, okay. Let me uh, check this as well. So this is one uh, way to detect the context. The other way is uh, to det detect. Uh, uh, this is detecting the context from here uh, from menu as well. Means you can detect context of suppose this is cell one means if I want to add one cell so this is again a different path form if you see this is all context is having a separate separate path that is the use of this context though some of the tables are common but it is not forming any loop you'll see See this rental cell uh, cell model is a uh, path from here to here this is one more path because if you say miss all tables are active then this might cause a loop if you say miss if you want to uh, go by each and each, uh, every tab table here So by defining a context, it will avoid uh, means it will avoid the loops, and it will uh, give the correct data means whenever the query has been run. Okay, so this is all about uh, context. Let me show you means um, if I'm able to edit it. Uh, 
okay so uh, then there are options insert context means manually if you want to add any context here means we can do insert context uh, we can um, have a test context here and we can specify the path uh, means for this uh, uh, test context okay so uh, this is all about uh, context means how we can uh, con uh, detect context and how we can add into the data foundation and um, then how we can test it as well so that uh, <coughs> there should be a, no loops in the data foundation okay so i hope you have understood this concept if you have any questions please put it in the comment section uh, if you like my video then please like it please subscribe to my channel so that you will get to know about my next unit video thank you for watching